Here's the thing. I don't want you to go on a no carb diet because there is no such thing. Even good for you foods like broccoli, sweet potatoes, cauliflower, and greens contain some carbs. In fact, the only completely carb-free foods are foods that are all fat. And here's a shocker. Meats, animal proteins, actually contain carbs. It's called glycogen. So don't try to go no carb. Instead, try smart carb. Make the bulk of your diet look like this. Plenty of veggies, some in-season fruit, and some resistant starches like sweet potatoes, sorghum, and miracle noodles. Round it out with healthy fats and protein, and you're ready to go. One of the big claims they make about wheatgrass is that it has a high chlorophyll content. Now this is something that seriously infuriates me. Why? Because human beings can't digest grass. Our bodies weren't built to absorb any nutrients from wheatgrass or any other kind of grass because you need four stomachs like a cow to digest grasses. So the chlorophyll in wheatgrass is totally useless to you. The real truth is wheatgrass is just grass. It tastes horrible and it's super expensive. A tiny two ounce wheatgrass shot at Jamba Juice costs close to $3. Worse than that, it contains powerful plant toxins that are designed to make you sick. Ever notice that when a dog wants to throw up, it eats grass? Yep, dogs aren't supposed to eat grass either. I'm pretty sure this lie was created by food companies who wanted to sell more whole grain. Because here's the thing, it's dead wrong. But whole grain cereals, brown rice, bread, and a whole assortment of unhealthy foods have been marketed using the heart healthy label. Even foods loaded in sugar and lectins. And even the American Heart Association has hopped on the heart healthy whole grains bandwagon. But when you look at the diets of people with the lowest instances of heart disease, you'll see that they have one thing in common. They actually don't eat a lot of whole grains. France actually tops the list, and they do eat a lot of bread in France. But most of it is made with refined white flour. And in Japan, white rice is common, while brown rice is practically unheard of. The takeaway? eating whole grains won't keep your heart healthy. Non-fat milk, low-fat cheese, yogurt, especially Greek yogurt. All these products have been super trendy health items here in America for years, and honestly, they shouldn't be. You see, most American cow milk products contain a protein called casein A1. This pesky protein has been tied to numerous digestive and immune problems, including the now infamous leaky gut. In fact, many people who think they're lactose intolerant are actually reacting to the casein A1, not the lactose. So, does this mean you can't ever have yogurt, cheese, or even cream in your coffee? Fortunately, no, it doesn't. You don't have to give up completely on dairy. You just have to pick the right dairy. Dairy that doesn't have casein A1. One of my personal favorites is buffalo milk. There's a great brand right here in the US called Boof that comes from grass-fed buffalo. And if that's not your thing, there's always sheep and goat's milk. Sheep's milk, yogurt, and cheeses are pretty much widely available. Trader Joe's has a wonderful sheep's milk feta cheese called Pastures of Eden. And for goat's milk, it's easy enough to find goat milk cheeses, ice cream, butter, yogurt, even plain goat milk, which is pretty much everywhere. And if you're super attached to the taste of cow's milk, I have good news there too. There's a product called A2 milk that doesn't have the casein A1 protein. So next time you find yourself craving dairy, you don't have to feel deprived. Just reach for one of these easy, delicious alternatives. I like organic food. In fact, I love organic food. 
But that doesn't mean all organic food is good for you. Organic cows and chickens can be fed organic corn and wheat, which are designed to fatten them and you up. And complete junk food can be organic too. Just take a look at the organic section of your local store. You'll see organic cookies, organic ice cream, even organic potato chips. It may have a fancy label and cost twice as much, but junk food is still junk, organic or not. 